Aquaponics is the idea of producing vegetables and fish in the same closed system. It combines aquaculture, or fish farming, with hydroponics, a way to grow plants without so soil. Aquaponics is the merger of aquaculture, raising fish, and hydroponics, which is a plant growing union. The benefits of this system are that there is no waste. The fish are excreting into the water, which we are pumping up into this plant bed. We have a bacteria culture in here that is converting the ammonia from the fish to nitrogen, which is feeding the plants and it's doing a very good job. This system is only a month old, and look at the life we have here. And the concept is fairly simple. You can grow um, vegetables, fruits, or herbs in the upper system in growing beds made out of pebbles or sponges that have water running through or under them. This water is fertilized by fish fecal matter from the, from the bottom system, which can be pumped throughout the entire unit using gravity pumps. And you can see from this sort of model that this system is space efficient, it's simple to use, but it's also, <clears throat> sorry, but it's also self-sustaining and closed. This is where aquaponics becomes a truly disruptive piece of innovation. Andrew Furnitz, 24 years old, started the company with three friends right after graduating from UIC. In showing us how the system works, he started here, huge tanks home to hundreds of tilapia, hardy and fast growing. The waste generated by the fish is converted into fertilizer for the plants. And when the fish are full grown, they'll head to the fish market. This is kind of like the heart of the system. This is where all the water comes and accumulates from all its different um, areas. Also contributing, a rock bed full of hundreds of worms. The worms help mineralize and break down the fish waste. When you're seeing worms, you know you have a healthy garden. The water, packed with nutrients, is monitored 24 hours a day with digital sensors and corresponding software. The water circulates under big styrofoam trays where the plants grow under special fluorescent lights. As long as you have healthy, oxygenated, um, well-cycled water, they're going to stay um, healthy and they're not going to get root rot and they're going to grab um, nutrients quicker than they actually would out of the soil. And instead of pesticides, ladybugs do the work. They live freely throughout the indoor garden. Some plants only take 21 days to go from seedling to harvest. A three-level system allows for a harvest every five to seven days. Among their customers, executive chef Guy Michael of the popular organic restaurant Nana in Bridgeport. It's kind of unique to have a, a local product with that much variation. Usually you get basil or Italian basil or Thai basil, but to have you know cinnamon basil and sweet basil and you know tons of different things coming in is great. Arash Amini, also 24 years old, is confident their company will be successful. People come to us and think you know we're just growing food in the south side, but really what we're doing is creating a platform for entrepreneurs in the future to come start their own companies start their own restaurants based on our food. a while, but it's still kicking. There are some goldfish in there. Of course, some snails because of algae. Also, 13 little catfish. Hey, look, there's one of the snails. But the important part, the really important part, look at those peppers. They're going nuts, growing fast, growing quick. We have more peppers over here that are going great. My little eggplant is going a little fast and big. I gotta keep telling him where to go. And you can see in there, it's a little eggplant getting ready to go. I'm impressed with how my tomatoes are growing. Look at how big they are. 